Quiet. So we're flying along down the highway here on our on our way to our usual visit up to my sister's here. She's been flooded by the uh, York River and what do we see along the side but this decomposing rock. So right away, of course, we stopped the car. Um, there's Maggie, my wife Maggie. She's also got a passing interest in geology and rock. And uh, first of all, yeah, this, you know, as soon as you see the crumbling rock, you, you have a pretty good impression that it's possibly something that's going to be in there. So. There's your first clue. You got some mica, big, big sheets of mica. I know the light's sort of uh, reflecting from it, but um, the sort of iridescent greenish color, certainly not the black mica. You can see the edge of the crystal along the top. I mean, that's a good clue. You know, possibilities of, you know, some kind of slow forming minerals. Um, then, of course, we start to find pieces of calcite, calcite here. Um, where are they? They're all in amongst here. I mean, there's, there's a little bit there. You can see the redness of it, calcite. One of the best things to do, you want to look along the edge, the contacts between this sort of loose, friable material and the harder rock up above it. I mean, that's where you're going to find the crystals. And in particular, I've just found a, another crystal vug here, which I've been digging into. It's got loose mica. Um, I'm following along a calcite vein, so you never know what you'll find. I, I definitely found a lot of actinolite. I mean, look at this. This is just huge amounts of actinolite crystals, you know, fibrous. Um, it's all over the ground here um, in big lumps and pieces. You know, you can see the fibrous crystals. They're actually, some of them are really quite green. I would be following up a seam like that and see where the bugs are or the cavities. Loose material, that's where you're going to find crystals as well. So I guess I'm going to spend a little bit of time just digging along there. But again, we're going up the side of a rock face on quite a steep angle. So the advice, of course, is to be careful. See, as you can see, I, I am sliding slowly down this slope here. So, but back to my little digging spot. I mean, I'm seeing green crystals. I mean, there's one. I, it may not turn out so well on the camera, but uh, I'm following like, like a little seam, an open seam. Um, there's more actinolite, I believe it is, along there. You can see the actinolite. So this is what I'm digging into. See all the loose mica? Um, I mean, being in Bancroft, you've got about 95% of the world's mineral species represented within about a 30 kilometer radius of Bancroft. I mean, you don't know what you're going to find. It's seldom in large quantities, sometimes not in high quality either, but I mean, it's here. You can find just huge diversity, in particular the association with the pegmatite dikes and the, um, the calcite. Further to the issue of being careful, I just slid down this bank here, kind of hurt uh, while I was digging away in that little vug and I uh, kind of did a bit of a face plant down at the bottom. Lots of little holes as you can see, that's where your crystals are going to form. I guarantee the crystal needs the space um, within the calcite or, or within the a harder igneous rock. So I mean just like my other video where I found the big crystal cavity I mean I wasn't really dressed or prepared for for you know for the experience it just happened to I just happened to see it on the side of the road and stopped just like this one as well. I mean I could spend a long time here digging I know the black flies you probably see them they're starting to get a bit annoying. Um, I could spend a fair time a fair bit of time digging but I, I mean Maggie's getting impatient. Um, I'm gonna come back here and uh, just you know, look around, I found some very, you know, small black um, crystals, maybe uh, like isometric crystal system, I'm not sure. They're dull black. I mean, I've seen them, I just can't recall what they're called. Um, actinolite, mica, lots of stuff in calcite, uh, a seam that I'm following. Um, let's see what it brings out in a couple of days here. Got to run. Black flies are getting bad. Got to be up at my sister's. So, uh, as promised, um, I'm on my way back to the um, dino road, actinolite, road cutting, whatever you call it, um, which I'd noticed yesterday with Maggie. I'm, I'm This time I'm on my own. Um, I'm going back, uh, bringing with me, uh, as you can see, uh, a crowbar, which is an appropriate tool for digging into that, that particular uh, area, the seam, uh, and a bucket. Uh, this is 
basically what you call a, a scarn. Uh, this area, I believe, it's like a calcite silica kind of a intrusion that's come up. Um, and of course, we're talking about actinolite, which is very similar in nature to a uh, tremolite, uh, except for the fact that the tremolite is, is rich in magnesium. The actinolite is rich in iron, a fibrous mineral. Not far out of Bancroft, I don't know, 30k maybe. Uh, it's going to be on the right hand side as you're heading southwards, just past the dino, dino turn, the turn onto the dino road. Used to be an, an amazing uranium mine up there. I went down about a thousand feet, multiple levels. Um, well, we're seeing even after it closed, just some amazing infrastructure up above. Sadly, it's out of bounds now, but anyway, we're almost there. A lot of swamp around here. Um, as I say, um, there's, a, there's a swamp just on the other side of Bancroft, still on Highway 28. Uh, right by Cancarat Hill, they found the world's largest black star sapphire. This huge black spindle-shaped crystal. Um, I know uh, Andy from the uh, the Princess Soda Light mine had been telling me about it. Just an amazing story. So, oh by the way, excuse the crack in my window. You're probably wondering where that came from. I uh, got nailed by a gravel truck. A piece of gravel came off on the 401. Almost as soon as I bought the car. So yeah, it looks bad on me. I guess I haven't fixed it. Sorry. Okay, so if you're looking for the place, there's a sign you want. Dino Road, right after Dino Road turn off. Here's Dino Road itself. So this is a, uh, you know, I'm digging into the the calcite. I guess it's like the calcite scarn. I can see uh, lots of sort of little green crystals. Looks almost like down there, sort of the the, the top of a a greenish kind of crystal. And of course, you can see this is very glassy, glassy actinolite here. Um, in amongst the calcite, easily removed from the calcite. Um, I'm starting to feel optimistic about this area. Um, you, you know, if you want to find crystals, nice form crystals, calcite scarn is often the place to go. I mean, York River scarn being a good example. Um, I'll just keep digging away. As I say, that's pretty glassy. I'm going to probably use something like some kind of mild, like Coca Cola or something, to try and dissolve away a bit of the calcite, see if I can get the. Uh, actinolite crystals out without too much of a hassle.